What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Sam here. I'm bringing you some uh, little new game. This is uh, Dying Light. Um, haven't really played too much of this, but I picked it up this week. I uh, heard some good things about it and wanted to make a couple videos on it. I mean, I'll make a series if y'all are interested and all that, but um, just wanted to show you some basics um, and maybe a little bit of night gameplay later on. Um, I don't know if y'all really played or heard of this game, but it's a, obviously a zombie game. Um, you're in an open world uh, in the city of Iran, I believe. Um, it's pretty interesting so far. Uh, graphics are nice. It really focuses on like crafting and all that good stuff. I mean, crafting uh, new weapons and stuff. Um, you know, you use all kinds of supplies, and I like that. Also, you upgrade your player using the skills, um, and there's like separate skills trees for survivor, um, agility, and power. Um, I am going to show you right now where you can get this uh, XP caliber weapon, and this is a really rare, well not rare weapon, because you can just go out there and get it, but it is the top tier um out here you can see that little rock out there it's actually located right on that rock so um here i'll show you on the map the tower is right here and if you come out to this edge near the water um and go out on this rock right here you'll find the xp caliber um you have to hold down if you're on PS4, you have to hold down Square or Xbox, I believe X, um, for like three minutes for this thing to finally like um, be equipped. It's kind of like a play on King Arthur's sword, like it's stuck in a rock over there, and you have to hold down on it. Um, but yeah, that's a good weapon. I'll uh, I'll actually pull that out right now so y'all can see it. Um, yeah, this is the XP caliber. It's a big sword does not have very good durability, but you can also get the blueprints out there if you wait for the body to disappear. So you can make them whenever you want, as long as you have the ammo. Also, I'm going to show you right around this area um, where to find a pistol if you are looking for a gun. Wouldn't recommend using one very often though because. Uh, they're loud and they track zombies. But if you come out to this building, um, right here, uh, it's near the same location. You can pick it up right along the way to your XP caliber. Um, there's a gun. There will be a German 9mm pistol right next to this guy who killed himself. And there's also a little bit of ammo here as well. So it's a decent little start. Um, if you're looking for a gun, you want a gun. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to try to take over this safe zone, um, because it's in a good location near a bolter, um, feeding ground. So if I take it over, I should be able to, um, Get these bolters fairly easily. Oh my goodness. Alright, got this safe zone. Now, how do I get in here? That's close. There's a bed right there. Basically, you just gotta get to this rooftop. I'm right over here. And I'll be good to go. Alright. So I'm gonna wait until the night. That also replenishes my health, so that'll make it a little easier. 
very good looking game. Basically, the little bit of this mission is just called Siblings, I believe. Part of it, I got to go to a bolter at night. Um, I wanted to give you all a little bit of bolter gameplay, since that's interesting, you know. Um, it, I meant night gameplay, my bad. Um, oh, there they are. And I now have eight of these. Um, firecrackers. Well, now I have two. Shit. Oh my god. Bro, I swear I can get this. Give it, give it, give it. Whoop! Get back to the safe house. Get up. Get up. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, got that bolt of tissue. And survived the night. Now I gotta take this sample back. That wasn't too much night gameplay, but as you can see, it's a little hard to escape out there at night. This airdrop's coming in somewhere. I can feel it in the controller. I don't see a plane though. Maybe I'm just blind. Uh, so up here. I don't know how far it is away. A good uh, tactic to use is to go after these airdrops. They, um, a lot of them have a good bit of supplies in them, whether it be flares or med kits or whatever. And you take what you can get in this game. I mean, oh, geez, that's on the one on the side now. Alright, I'm not going after that. I'm just gonna go go get this mission done. But uh, yeah, a good tactic is to go after those airdrops. <clears throat> a lot of times they spawn them a lot closer to you um, than that, which is the only reason I'm not going for it because it's so far away. But um. Yeah, they give you flares, med kits, whatever, and they also give you um, a little pack you can take back to the tower and give to the quartermaster for points, um, which is a nice boost. Uh, yeah, I'm going the right way. Um, yeah, it's nice to get points whenever you can get them. I mean. three points, you know, like that. But yeah, it gives you three med kits, which is super nice, because med kits don't come easy. I mean, you can make them yourself, but I'm uh, unlocking this police van. I'm hoping there's like a pistol or something nice inside. There's a chance there's nothing inside, but I figure while I'm here and there's no zombies around, I might as well be. Like, Go for it. Alright, one more to the right. Damn. This thing needs some work. This lock picking mechanism. It's like the same premise as Fallout and Skyrim, but it's definitely nowhere near as smooth. Like, one little adjustment to the left. Like, you can. You can barely make little adjustments, which kind of makes it difficult. Um, ooh, a garden sickle. And a little uh, weapon booster. Definitely worth the trouble getting into that. Yeah, if you have a bunch of lockpicks, I'd recommend doing the very hard ones, but if you only have like five, I'd say forget it, because it's going to take you a few times to get it. I mean, you might be really good at it, and it only takes you a few times, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, this game is really intense. It's not nearly as, uh, like, scary as it is intense. So, go ahead and take the med kit. And 
kill this dude. As you can see, it is pretty difficult to kill um, people. I mean, I guess I, I probably don't have the best weapon equipped. This thing has 101 damage, so I'm going to switch to it and give it a little try, see what it can do. Alright, I kill one. I don't see how they can do so much damage kicking, but... You can't really do much. Alright. Stole. Or killed them. They have some decent weapons too, so it's worth picking up what they have. Um, and they're usually around something decent. Like a box or something. There's no box this time, but a couple cash registers. Alright, so I'm going to continue make my way over to the tower. Overall, this game is really fun though. Um, all kinds of stuff to do. Uh, I really like the skill tree and all that. And all kinds of weapons you can make. I mean, just a good time. I'll come back to him. I got shit to do. Uh, so, if y'all saw me kill that bolter, um, which is uh, funny because I actually need bolter uh, tissue to create a weapon. So, I had to get the tissue for this mission. Then I might have to give it up, but y'all probably see me go kill a bolter again so I can get some, uh, some more, or make this weapon. One thing I do not like, though, about this game is your player just willingly volunteers to be the hero of everything. And I mean, it's there's kind of a backstory to them, so you'll understand more, but, um, I don't know, it just kind of annoys me. I was like, I'll do it. Raheem, that was my job. Oh, good job, Of course you did, you dumbass. Alright, what happened? Where are you? Listen, head to the train yard. Find a place to hide. I'm on my way. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Raheem! Raheem! I'm gonna take my sweet, precious ass time going to help him. I hope he dies. Alright. Well, that's gonna conclude this one. Oh boy, he about to blow. Woo! Uh, that's gonna conclude this one, this little video. So I showed y'all where to get the, um, a couple of decent little weapons like a gun and, um, the XP caliber, so I hope that helps y'all in this game. Um, and I hope you enjoy a little bit of that night game for it. But yeah, anyway, um, until next time, y'all just leave some feedback. Let me know if you liked this. Let me know if you want to see more. 